Hi, this is post-Soviet music commented in English episode 5 and I'm happy to welcome you here in my vlog. So, who's new to my vlog? I'd like to tell you that I'll put music that I prefer, that I like to listen. And uh, second is that this music might not be popular in my country, but nevertheless, it's the music that I like to share with you. And uh, it's the music that I think would be good for you to get acquainted with my culture, with post-Soviet culture. So, let's begin. Today we're gonna talk about a very specific genre. This genre is alternative and ethnic and maybe some kind of uh, trip hop yeah so we we gotta you know we gotta mix these genres in uh, two artists some some maybe sometime in one artist but you will hear all of these three genres together i promise so we'll begin with the artist called linda she was quite popular i mean she was really popular in um, alternative genre in 90s 1997 especially and yeah let's give it a try first song called i will not give you to anybody Okay, that was Linda. So, first, first of all, it's lyrics. Silently, silently, silently. These are steps or these are uh, clocks. It's my tears or drops of dew. Hands are waving up to lonely leaves. I will never, never let you to anybody. I will never, never get you to anybody. I'll close my eyes, close my eyes with a hand, and there it and the wing behind my back is cannot be seen. Please stop, don't go to the, uh, don't walk on hot uh, stones. I will never, never get you to anybody. The chorus. So, I'm dancing and all of these games will be thin, thin needles. I'm running, I'm running from nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. 
that was the course. So, um, what about the music? No, it's definitely a trip hop genre, and it somehow mixes with the uh, ethnical genres. You know, where when when she started to sing like and bridge all this stuff, and we get really nice mixture of genres. Um, so yeah, the song is about definitely love, you know, and that's it. Our cultural context of the song. So, uh, in 90s, especially like in 1997, 6, um, the genre trip hop was really popular in Great Britain. It started in, um, what's the name of the city? In Bristol, with the Portis Head. And um, yeah, it was the peak of the genre, and uh, Russia somehow took this um, piece of music, and you know, they just liked it, and they decided to make something in a way of Porter's head, and they yeah, they they succeeded, I think. Uh, let's give a shot to another song of Linda. And then we'll talk about other things later. I'm gonna put you a very popular song of her, of her uh, and still some artists make cover on this song. song called Chains and Rings. Um, yeah, you know, I think, to my humble opinion, I think that this song gave a birth to um, to a specific pop genre in uh, Russia and Ukraine. You know, this um, there was a band called Tattoo. Uh, you may have heard of the song called um, um, like oh, no, no, no. Okay, forget it. <laughs> like uh, all the things you said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. So that's the song from a band called Tattoo, and um, I think this song have a lot of in common with this song, you know, especially in drum parts. So let's talk about the lyrics. Um, under obstructions, in in warm doubts, I was drawing your revelations in hieroglyphs in strict in strict columns i was kissing uh, my wishes in hands i was dancing on a wounded um, air in magenta morning sky where was the water three years ago it's now became ice the ice is where two hearts were lacing into chains, chains and rings. Um, aim at my son, aim and shoot in my son. Please battle me until there is nothing left from me. So that's the chorus. 
And no, it's it's really like strong. I mean, the lyrics is really strong. You know. Um, um, and how this artist contributed to a scene. So, in the times of late nineties. Uh, as I said before, the genre called trip hop was very popular abroad, and um, I mean the composer of her songs contributed to trip hop scene by creating this band and writing this really nice songs, and uh, she contributed a lot to some alternative scene. I mean, a lot of people from like age twenty to thirty were listening to her songs and um, yeah they rose I mean they rose in her songs so she contributed a lot and we're gonna move to another artist called uh, Katia Chile she sings in an ethnic genre and she's one of the greatest artists in this genre in my country so let's listen to her early song called Pivni, which is Peacocks, and yeah, let's begin. Human stories of love and life, hate and death, space, outer and inner. another song and we'll talk about her art in a couple of minutes I just want you to to hear the you know the essence of her so this is quite late song it was performed first in 2017 on the music context called the voice and that's really great it's a great piece of work talk about the music so um, she 
in her early years she was performing kind of electronic mixture with ethnic vocals and with techno, experimental techno and really like hard techno. She was performing a lot of music festivals and she was very popular because of her unique and high voice and like wide in range. Yeah, so she was like the ethnic star in the 90s. Uh, that's all happened in Ukraine, not in Russia. And uh, in her uh, later works, we can hear more Ukrainian ethnic music with uh, uh, really like popular ethnic lyrics about nature, about love. Like a um, young woman is in love with a young Cossack, and, um, which is a Ukrainian warrior. And she wants to go with him on a date, but her father is not letting her go and that kind of stuff. Um, that was, I mean, that is what a lot of Ukrainian songs are about. And um, how she contributed to the scene? Well, she was like very popular and uh, that was her main contribution, I mean... Her main contribution was uh, that she performed with um, popular popular Ukrainian artists in uh, 2000 years, um, before 2010. And she contributed to electronic and ethno scene in the 90s. But, uh, sadly, she was quite forgotten after the year like 2007, 2010. And she came back like 10 years later in 2017 on Music Context and um, she performed like her song after a very long pause. And um, she released I think another couple of songs or maybe album after this and uh, I hope she will rise again. Yeah, I hope she will give a light to our ethnic music. Maybe she will record some of the greatest songs in uh, future years, I think. But for now, we are at the end. And thanks for watching. That was Post-Soviet Music Commented in English, episode 5. Thank you. Bye.